Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be updating the gallery. So we'll start by going to Pages. And here is the image gallery. So we'll choose Edit to edit that page. Okay, and the module that comes up here would be Gallery. We want to be able to edit that gallery. So we'll click on the three lines to bring us in here. And the settings that are already here don't need to be modified. The only thing we need to do is click on Update Gallery for the images. And so here's where you'll see all the images that are currently in the gallery. So we're able to easily uh, remove by, you could see here, just moving that. You can also reorder them. You can caption them. So whatever the caption is for the image, we can do that. You can randomize the order as well uh, over here. And if we wanted to add, we just simply click Add to Gallery, choose a new image. So I'll just choose the logo here. Uh, the title of the image, which appears here, would then also show up on the site, as you'll see in a second. So here is what we have for that title. And then um, I'm going to put here Logo Caption, just so you could see. And we'll click Add to Gallery. So now we have these five images. Click Update Gallery. Of course, Save and Exit. And as with other pages, we can click Preview if we wanted to see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and click on Preview. And that'll show us um, just a quick overview of the changes. And so here's where you see the images in the gallery. Okay, and here's the logo that we had added. And here's the title. Whoops. Here's the title of the image that you saw. And then here is the caption that you also saw uh, you were able to type in. And then, of course, you can click on these and then they become full screen and uh, you have navigation options like forward and back, etc. So updating the gallery is simply going into the page itself, choosing gallery, and then update gallery, and bringing in your images here, clicking update gallery, make sure you save and exit, and then finally, we want to publish before we leave the page. And then if we click on view page here at the top to go to the live page, then you'll see your changes.